Hey y'all, uh, this is just a little bit of um, footage of me using this Dell 7480 uh, as a MacBook Pro. I wanted you to see the real screen since the last video didn't have it. So uh, you can open up about this Mac. You can see it's 1162, 1080p display. Again, I've only got a 128 gig um, SATA SSD in here right now. Uh, I may change that to NVMe at some point. But you can look up if you want to see system report stuff. So this one's a uh, dual core. It shows a core i7, but that's not really true. That's just the SM BIOS setting. It's actually a core i5. Um, I want to see. Yeah, it does have a card reader, though I haven't tried that one yet. The camera on here sucks. That's a bummer. Although MacBooks cameras have sucked as well in the past. I think they're much better now. But again, no touchscreen, which, as you can see, Works quite well. Here's my other hand. <laughs> so, um, at any rate, it is a little bit like finicky in that I'm not used to it. So once you get used to it and get a little bit more precise, it'll be better, I think. Um, but it does work quite well. And like for instance, <clears throat> this is where I would use this to open up something like news. It's only uh, two finger, not. 10 fingers, so even though this screen itself, uh, it's an Elan, Elan touchscreen, uh, is 10 finger capable, the driver for this is only two finger capable. So, you know, you can scroll down still using the scroll wheel, uh, scroll bar here. You can zoom, pinch to zoom, but like I say, it's not quite as smooth as it would be on like a tablet, and that's where, you know, it would be really nice if Apple just did it themselves and did it correctly, because then we wouldn't have to resort to shit like this, but Apple sucks as you can see. Um, by the way, I have never heard the fan in this thing. Um, but also, I think you can probably control that in the BIOS. So. Now, I haven't run a benchmark on it, and I don't know um, for sure that it's turboing properly. I think it is. Uh, again, if you look up the about, it shows 2.7 gigahertz. It is a dual core, four thread. It's got eight gigs of memory, uh, 2133, HD 620 graphics. Um, it shows as a 13 inch from 2018 and this machine does not have four Thunderbolt 3 ports. It's got one and then it's got uh, three other USB-A ports, HDMI, uh, the card reader, again Intel Wi-Fi. Let me see actually if I can open up, let's see where Wi-Fi is. Graphics as you can see, 620. Memory, I've got two 4 gig sticks in here right now at 2133. Uh, like I said, I'd like to change those out if I can. NVMe won't show anything right now, but again, it supports it without a problem. I'm just using the NVMe drive, the good NVMe drive that I have for Windows and, and Linux. Uh, SD card reader again. This is the battery. I do need a new battery, so that's kind of a bummer, but um, it's not terrible. I get a couple hours out of it. Let's see. Yeah, my, my uh, drive is a KingFast. Not Kingston. Not fast. KingFast. So that's awesome. Trim support shows no here, and I'm pretty sure I got to double check with Big Sur, but I believe that there's a simple uh, terminal command you can do to turn trim on. I think it's just turned off by default because this is not, you know, an Apple certified drive. That's an issue that's come up with Apple hardware in the past. Let me see. USB touchscreen, and you can see this this Elon. Uh, it does have Bluetooth. I haven't used it, but it's there. It shows up. It uh, appears to work. I just haven't used it myself. Webcam and USB receiver. What am I looking for? Wi-Fi. So it shows as an airport extreme, but you can see firmware version ITLWM. Um, it does connect with AC, and you can see all the channels. So it is Wi-Fi AC, uh, and it's connected to Wi-Fi AC. Um, but... Uh, I had to change that config plist that I mentioned in the last video as well. Uh, that was the only thing to get Intel to work. Now, if you can change the Wi-Fi chip in here, and typically I think Atheros chipsets chipsets are what Apple has full support for. Though honestly, this runs AC fine and Bluetooth seems to be fine. I haven't tried it, but it shows up. Uh, let me see. Actually, where the hell is Bluetooth in here? Here we go. I think I even have it turned off. No, nope, it's on. Discoverable as Adam's MacBook Pro. I don't have any devices open up right here. Let me see. 
Let me turn Bluetooth on real quick and just see if it shows up. I honestly have not tried this one yet. So there might be issues with Bluetooth. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Bluetooth, repair new device. Nope, Adam's phone, there it is. I'm not gonna connect it, yeah, and Adam's MacBook Pro shows up here as well. I'm not going to connect it because I hate Bluetooth, it sucks, and that is part of the reason that their whole headphone courage thing is just total bullshit. Uh, anytime you use wireless as a connection, there's compression, and when you compress audio, you lose quality. When you compress video, you lose quality. That's why when your connection slows down and you're watching a Netflix video, it gets blocky. It's compressing it. It does the same exact thing to audio, and that's why those headphones suck. It's not courage. It's just being cheap. Um, Apple is just notoriously cheap. They look premium, but they are not premium. This Dell is hands down way better. Um, anyways, just wanted to show some, some other stuff here, uh, apart from what I showed in the other video that I made about this. It's really an awesome machine. It runs Mac perfectly fine. Uh, with OpenCore, I installed it as 11.2.3 and then updated to 11.6.2, I think it was, without a problem. Um, I did have one reboot where the touchscreen immediately after updating the, I'm sorry, touchpad didn't work. I restarted it again, the touchpad worked. So if you have an issue like that, just restart it. It's probably fine. Um, I had one issue where I was playing a video and then I changed the volume with the volume buttons on here, which by the way, the, the buttons on here do work. I can assure you right now the screen is dimming and, and increasing in, in brightness. Um, I changed the volume while a video was playing and the, the volume stopped. I had to reboot it. I think the driver might have crashed. Uh, so there will be little bugs with Hackintoshes, but overall, this thing is awesome. And it was inexpensive, and they're readily available. You can get them with different options. You can actually upgrade these. They're not glued together for the most part. These are made for business people, and they're rugged, and they work well. And the fact that you can put Mac OS on it, which Mac OS is a pretty decent operating system, even if their hardware sucks, is just amazing. So anyways, Hope you all enjoy that. If anybody has questions about how to do this with specifically an E7480, drop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. All right, good luck. See you all.